Welcome back everyone. It's your first time tuning in. I'm Chris and this is Pia's Projects. All right, I'm gonna show a few pictures on the uh, screen to go over uh, some of the issues I had yesterday afternoon. So after I finished recording for last week's episode, went for a drive and didn't even make it a mile, hit a bump and broke something. So um, the line uh, I had to replace. So I ended up walking back home, grabbed my truck trailer, then I just, I fixed the uh, issue. It was this, uh, the rear passenger line. And um, then I just uh, rolled on the trailer, drove it. I mean, it's right at a mile back home. What I'm doing now is seeing if there's any other potential issues and then doing some cleanup. Uh, there are a couple things I would like to do before Riverside, uh, but I need to look at like the cooling system and everything. Um, I have a bottle, but I don't have a cap. I must have used the cap on a different project. So I'm gonna try and order up a cap this week and uh, see what else we can get going. This is roughly what I'm thinking. Either spot, either down here, or maybe a bracket up here. Then I can tidy up the lines and everything. I think eventually, and I knew this was gonna happen, I will probably go do some sort of hard line, or at least raise this up, raise the manifold up, or tuck the manifold in the back corner so all you see is the tank. I would like to do some artwork on the tank. I did find out that my uh, scissor jack is too tall when it's fully uh, aired out. I do need to clean this up so it looks a little bit better. Same with back here. All right, I got this side all cleaned up. Get a set of plastic tools. Trim tools. I'm pretty sure I got them from Amazon or something, but they do a very good job tucking everything in. So I have a little slit right here and then I zip tied some stuff up. Okay. So this side will be, is all good now. So now I'm working on this side. I am actually building a mount to put the water trap up like this. I think it's just better if it's vertical versus the angle I had it at. I am using a piece of metal stock I had. I bent it with my uh, bench vise. I haven't decided if I'm gonna, how I'm mounting this yet. If I'm using a riv bolt or if I'm just tapping into the fender. Once, once the back's all cleaned up and the sun's not Blaming right or beaming right into my uh, trunk. I'll uh, show that. Yep, I pulled them out. If you saw the picture earlier, it shows the, I guess the shaft. It looked like this, but much lower. Okay. I'm not sure if it did that why it went like that, okay? I don't know if it's a safety mechanism or what it is. I feel like it should be, it should all be one piece. So I'm gonna bring it to a guy to TIG weld it tomorrow. Now he may, I may just have him do like short runs, like one inch runs in four or five spots and go from there. Because all I did was drive a mile down the road, not even a mile, hit a, uh, not even a real bump, like when the bridge transitions into road, that's, that's what I hit coming off the bridge. 
Next thing I know, I have zero pressure in a bag. Because the line tore. And, okay, obviously I went to bags to go lower. But also, I'd like to maintain the reliability I had with uh, coilovers. So, we'll, we'll address this part. Get it taken care of. Okay, so I went to the welder to try and fix the shocks with what I thought would be the right way to do it. Two different metals, stainless and aluminum base, so they will not, this will never stick to this. Uh, the first bump, first movement, anything. What I did do was tighten this nut right here. So this is pretty much locked in place, so it's not gonna move. I don't know, I don't think I showed it, but the bag, <laughs> see has the bands? And then there's a band here. Well, this one popped off. Uh, I currently have a hose clamp. I have uh, a friend checking out, um, he works at a parts store, checking out uh, to see if they have a clamp that they could put on there that I can get so I can have a little tighter than that and hold the top of the bag. The bag is still in there because it's like double wrapped and looped inside, but I don't want it to come off. I'd rather have something a little tighter than uh, the hose clamp, but I think this should work as well. But we're gonna shift gears a little bit. I have Couple things that I want to still do before Riverside. Current thing we're going to work on, we're taking all this off up here. The rails, these rails, and then we're going to go through and sand, wet sand this whole roof smooth like we did back here. Clean all that up because what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap the roof okay i know probably a lot of people are gonna have mixed opinions on that but as i said before the roof is not in the best shape clear peeled i put a wipe on clear it's okay um most of that's probably my fault not necessarily the uh the clear the product but what I, I, I want it to look as clean and sleek as possible. Now we're gonna go like a pearl metallic black because ultimately the plan would be roof box, color matched. Let's get this ready and see what else we can get into. looks so funny without the rails on it now because or the crossbars I should say I've had them on there probably uh, almost a year now so um, now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take everything off from the inside so how it works right here There's a, there's a bolt, or undo the bolt. There's six of them, and then it should pop right off. Well, it's bare. Um, I even got the rails off, so Saturday I will, so on Saturday I will paint these strips that I took off and, um, it should clean up very nicely. Well, time to get to work. Don't know if it's the right way. It's the way I did it. Took the wire wheel on my Dremel, 
Cleaned up a couple bubble spots on the roof and sanded it down and now just put some uh, sandable fillable primer on it. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and then I will come back out, start sanding it. So I sanded the first section. I pretty much just went about midway up <clears throat> so wet sand 1000 grit 1500 grit 2500 grit and 3000 grit that should be enough this front actually does not look that bad you could see a little bit of bubbles. So I might go and touch it up a little bit more, but definitely better than what it was before. So I just uh, gonna keep at it, try and knock this out. All right, big key when wet sanding, you need to keep the area very wet. Wipe down the roof. It is definitely cleaned up. We'll see how it is. I'm gonna let it dry overnight and look at it tomorrow. See what else I need to do to it. But it should uh, definitely get the job done. All right, uh, antenna removed. Headline or roof is sanded and prepped. So, um, I'm sure I'll need to do one more wipe down before we start the uh, wrap, but I am going to start prepping a few other things that I need uh, that I'm gonna put on. Uh, or at least attempt to put on. One thing I'm for sure putting on, everything else we'll see what we get to, okay? But I need to wipe down. I need to do a quick run over, clean it up, probably do a coat of primer, and then uh, the paint color should be here soon. Nice little base coat. I'll probably give it a light little sand before I add color.
car is wrapped. Showed you some earlier footage of uh, some pieces painted. Then the wind got a hold of them. So, if you can see, what I will have to do. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to try and uh, just scuff this up a little bit, touch it up. I would like to get clear on this tonight or I can mount it up in the morning. So it's not, everything's not fully assembled yet, but uh, I like where we're at. I like where we're at. So it is gloss phantom black. Uh, Metro restyling is the wrap. So sort of like a newer GLI vibe but I like it. It hides a lot of the imperfections of the roof and gives me some shine again. Ultimately, the plan is still a roof box, but we'll have to see how all that works. Right now, I'm letting it sit in the sun so the moldings can sort of sink back down, get into place. I am very pleased. Austin did a Stellar job. Very exciting. Figured with the sun setting in the background, be a pretty cool uh, photo, right? Car needs a bath. I need to get the rails on, and uh, we'll go from there. A little touch up for the rails and the crossbars with the good old trim paint. I think it seems to look fairly well now. It's nice and neat. We close the trunk and there we go. The car itself is filthy, but rails are back on. I think I'm ready to clear these. That will probably be in the next video. Roof is now wrapped. So that's a wrap. <laughs> Rails are on, crossbars are on. That's all cleaned up. I think that's gonna do it for this video. Things I need to do is clear the front uh, lip, the rear heck blend, and then paint and clear the side skirts. Just a nice good clean of the car. So that's the plan for this next video. Thank you for everyone who tuned in. If you liked what you saw, leave a thumbs up and uh, ask me questions. I didn't go too in depth with how the uh, wrapping was done. I literally was just helping Austin. He pretty much did majority of it. Prep the surface and the end result will speak for itself. Don't be afraid to try new things on your projects and Go out there, do some work, all right? Until next time, there's always a solution.